Hopefully you're watching this. You can hang out with me on Valentine's Day. Sorry I didn't send you flowers or candy. <laughs> It's Bucky and welcome back to our channel y'all happy Valentine's Day happy 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 Valentine's Day Y'all y'all are the only Valentine's I will ever need um, So happy Friday the weekend is here, but y'all I know some of y'all might be expecting me to do like some Valentine's candy some sweets You know, but I'm doing something that I personally think is just as good This is a salad that I have literally become addicted to like I am addicted to this salad it is from Panera Bread it is the Thai the spicy Thai salad with chicken and I add avocados and some pepperoncinis because y'all know I'm obsessed with pepperoncinis um, but it is like so delicious the other week when I was performing um, in Myrtle Beach I had this two days in a row and I knew that I wanted to do a video because this is like a salad from Panera that I actually love Panera salads. I think a lot of them are really, really good. But this one I am obsessed with. Oh. And since I'm so obsessed with pepperoncinis, I went to Walmart and I got a big jar of them. So I kind of want to see like how they compare um, to the ones that, you know. Ooh. That was juicy, y'all. Look. I'm making my eyes water. I don't know why, but I'm so obsessed with these. Whew. Let's sit that one right there for a second. Dump this all over it. And this dressing is so good. If y'all get a... What do y'all normally get at Panera? Because me personally, I'm a bread bowl like person. So I get... I usually do the pick two and uh, get the the broccoli and cheese in a bread bowl and then this salad but today I wanted a bigger one mm. I do get it without cilantro though not a huge fan not at all I was starving because yesterday when I did the king crab, I haven't had anything else to eat until now. And since I eat the king crab, right after, oh my god, funny story. <laughs> this is like, this is bad. Um, I can't believe I just thought about this. Mm. Right after... I filmed the the king crab video yesterday with that story time y'all I'm still embarrassed that I told that story oh gosh and you know I'll get to what I was going to talk about y'all know I'm I, I'm all over the place but one thing I do want to like bring up and like you know it was a funny story but when I was telling I thought my roommate one of the Anna's I thought she knew about that story and then she asked me about it because she saw me post about it. And she was like, what happened? And I told her the story just like I told y'all. She should have watched the video. <laughs> but um, no, I told her the story. And she was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Like, it was interesting that like, that was her first reaction. Because, and then I was like, you know, that's true. And then somebody else commented and they were like, you see how like, you know, girls and stuff, they get in these situations where things like that happen. And it's like, I was like, yeah, in a weird way, it was like, because when she first was like, are you okay? Like, I'm so sorry. I was like, haha, like, it's funny. But then if you think about it, you're like, oh, yeah, like, that's, that's not okay. Like, think about, you know, I think we put it on that it's like, since it was a guy and like me personally, I was like, oh, like, yeah, of course, like, I'm fine. Like, I got up, like, it was, but it was like. In a weird way, if you think about, like, if, let's say a guy had done this to a girl, 
it's like, it's crazy. And I was like, oh, like I, I di it didn't click with me until somebody commented in the, in the comments. And then she was talking about it and I was like, oh, like, you know, I can, I can see what you're talking about. Like, I don't know. Not that I'm personally like, you know, devastated, but I can definitely see how people, you know, it is a very concerning thing. Um, but anyways, for the purpose of the video, it was just meant to be light, but it was just interesting telling her the story and that was her first reaction was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Back to the story. Um, what was, what was I even like talking about? Hmm. So after I had the king crab yesterday, I went to the gym. It was my fourth day in a row going to the gym. Yeah, I think fourth day in a row. Um, and I worked out and I worked out like, yo, know, when I work out, I don't just go and do like 30 minutes and like barely work up a sweat. Like when people, when I come home and like my shirt's drenched, like I don't feel like I'm going to leave the gym until my shirt is drenched. So that's how I know I'm getting something done. You know what I mean? Um, so when I go, I'm going to go and make it worth it. Um, so I'll leave drenched. Like I go, I go hard because ultimately y'all, once you're past the first 20 minutes, an hour is super easy. At least for me, that's, it's like once I can get past that, like that heel, like trying to get above 20 minutes, then everything else just seems really easy. And it like encourages me. Like I set like little goals the entire time. So I'm like, all right, let's try to get this many miles in this certain time. And then like it, cause I'm competitive. So even I'm competitive with myself. So that's kind of just what works for me. But anything after 20 minutes, I'm like, it's pretty easy. Um, so I went to work out after the King Crabs and you know, I, I worked up a good little sweat and then I came home. I rested a little, a little bit, but As I said in yesterday's video, I had a volleyball game. Usually I don't work out as hard on volleyball game days, but with like, you know, I just, I, I, I did. I, I got in the zone and I just went crazy. So then I rested for like maybe an hour or two hours and then I had to get ready for the volleyball game. And we're in the tournament right now. So, last night was like the first round of the tournament. Whoa. And luckily, we won. Like, we actually won pretty easily. They were a decent team, though, but we played really, really, really good. Like, we... I know people are like, I wish you could videotape it. It would just be so awkward. Like, going in there with, like, a stand and, like my camera, even if it was just like my phone, you know, cause since I'm playing, I can't hold my phone. So I'd have to set up a stand. I don't know. And it's, it's a league. So I don't know how other people would feel about like us videotaping it. And then even like my teammates, I don't know what they would really think. They would be like, Oh my God, he's so weird. Like what in the world? But, uh, yeah. So I, I do wish that I could videotape it. I just don't have that courage yet. <laughs> um, I don't know, but we'll see. Maybe one day. Um, or if like somebody else came and they could videotape it. Uh, so we played. And we played like really, really well. And I personally, I don't know something about it. Maybe it because I went to the gym before. But. I played super good. Like, and I don't usually just like, y'all know the yard play, oh my God, Bucky, like, oh, he's always like, but like, I actually, and I normally, I know like, when I don't do as well as I know I can, but last night, like, I played very, very well. I went on a serving streak that was like, I think like 10 points almost. It was crazy. Um, I like did a spike and it was like my first like legit spike that landed in 
Um, like nobody was able to dig it or anything. Um, so it was like the perfect setup. Anna, our tall roommate who played volleyball in college, um, the quiet Anna, as some would say, um, but she like set me up perfectly and it was just like, it was a cross court spike. Oh, I wish I had that on video. I wish I had that on video because it felt so good after too. Um, but so that happened and the net is like a, it's a men's height. Usually the nets that we were playing on was like the women's height because it's a co-ed league. But like last night, I guess the rules actually say it's supposed to be a men's height. So it was the first time playing on a men's height net. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to spike over this. Like there's no way. And you know, sometimes I'll do like little dinkers, um, you know, just like little lobs and like place it in the court. But somehow like I was able to get up and I did that spike and I, it felt so good. But, uh, and then also, y'all are probably so bored. I'm like, we don't care about volleyball. But that's going to come to what I'm about to talk about. So, we got to get there, y'all. Um, also in the game, one of their players, like, I guess they spiked it over. It was like a... It was a very like short shot and I was on the, the back row center and I went and like I dove and I dug it up like I, I forget how I, I like dug it but like I had to dive and I don't wear knee pads this is like I'm not really it's a you know it's not that serious of a league like I'm not gonna wear knee pads and but I've already dove twice and last night I wish I'd have had knee pads because I dove and landed on my knee and I knew it like hurt, like I knew that it would like, you know, probably um, like have a little cut on it or like a little, you know, the skin might be removed a little bit. But we kept playing. I didn't think about it. At the end of the night, I looked down at it and it was swollen. It still is like kind of swollen. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all probably can't see it. <laughs> Okay, that ain't gonna work. But um, it's like turning, it's bruising right now. And it's gonna be a bad bruise. Like I can already tell like it's turning, <clears throat> it's turning purple. But I looked down and it was so swollen and I've like never had that happen before. So it kind of freaked me out. But it didn't like hurt, you know, really. It like, you know, it felt like a bruise. Um, but I was like, oh my gosh, it looked freaky. So that happened, but all together, I mean, we came out with the win, so all of it was worth it. But, mm, don't you hate when you bite your lip? Oh. Luckily, when that one wasn't too bad, but it still hurts. Um. But afterwards, now this is the funny part of like the whole situation. <laughs> so we're done, like we had our game and then after we won, the other team they were staying because we finished really quick. We beat them in two sets. So I think it only took like 30 minutes and there was still like 30 minutes left before the gym closed. So the other team was like, do y'all want to play around? Some of our team left, but then um, me, Brandon and Anna, we all stayed and played with them. Uh, and you know, it was fun. Like, you know, it was, it was a good time. And afterwards, like I was sweating so bad cause I had been going like hardcore during the game. Um, and like normally at the games, like my shirt isn't wet at all, but I don't know today for some reason, my shirt was soaking wet. Like it, I was just drenched. And by the time we played with the other team after we had already beaten them and just like played around, it kept getting more soaking wet. Like, it was bad. And then, after we left, and you know, whenever I was like, <laughs> whenever we left, um, we got in the car, and Brennan was driving, I was in the passenger seat, and Anna was in the back. Mm. I could eat this salad every day. 
I literally could eat this salad every day. Um, but we were in the car, and Brandon, like, he was, like, sniffing. He was, like, I was, like, what? He was, like, y'all smell that? I was, like, what do you smell? Like, what is it? Like, and he kept sniffing. He was, like, y'all smell that? I was, like, huh? And I started, like, giggling a little bit, because I kind of knew what he was going to say. And y'all... He literally was like, you ate crab legs today, didn't you? And I was like, what? He was like, you smell like crab legs. Like you smell like king crab. And I knew, I knew that was what he was gonna say because y'all, when at the end of the game, when I was playing with the other team, I kind of smelled my, or I smelled like something a little fishy. I was like, what is that? And then, I started smelling a little bit more and I was like, oh my gosh, that literally smells like king crab or like a, a oceany smell. I was like, I'm literally sweating out king crab. I'm sweating it through my pores and it smells exactly like it. It made me, I was so, like I might be traumatized to eat king crab again for quite a while. Um... I, it was just like, oh my gosh. So in the car, when he was saying that, I knew exactly what he was going to say. And as soon as he said it, I was like, I started laughing. I was like, yeah, like there's no hiding it. I literally smell like crab legs. Like it was like my shirt was drenched. So I would smell my shirt and I was like, yep, king crab. Yep, that's it. And it was so weird because sometimes... After I do like a seafood boil and I, if I have like bee love sauce or like a butter sauce, I'll smell that. Like if I go work out, like I'll smell that smell. But I've never smelled myself smelling like literally crab legs. And then, <laughs> I don't know if she would want me to, uh, I don't, Anna in the back was like, oh my God, I smelled that too. And I was afraid that it was me. <laughs> I was like, no, that's definitely, the fishy smell is literally me. I smell fishy as heck. Ugh. So on the way home, it started making me sick. I was like, Brennan, you gotta roll down the window. I was getting nauseous, just being like trapped in there and smelling it. And we finally got home and I, I first thing, I took those clothes off, put them in the washer, which I think they're still in the washer. I need to put them in the dryer. <laughs> Ooh. Um, and jumped in the shower because y'all, it was literally making me sick to my stomach. I couldn't believe it though. To literally smell, you know, like sometimes you, you'll smell, I don't know. It was just so spot on to the actual food and it was just crazy. Have y'all ever experienced that before? Like, I guess it's happened to me a couple of times, but not like to this extent, to where other people, like everybody is like smelling it. And they're like, yeah, that smells like crab legs. That smells like seafood. It literally smells like the ocean in here. Mm. I will say though, if you get this salad, the spicy Thai salad with chicken from Panera, add avocado. It makes it so much better. But then next week, so next Thursday, will be the semifinals. And we play the team. I didn't get to play them because I was at the, I had gigs at the beach that week. But they're the best team. I refereed one of their games. And they're, I think I've talked about it, but they're so legit. Like they're, they look like a, like a college team. They look professional. Um, so I think we're in the same side of the bracket as them, which kind of sucks. Because if we were on the other side of the bracket, we might not have to play them until the finals. But I think we're going to be playing them our first game next week in the semifinals. But maybe we can pull out the win. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that semifinals happen next week. So that's exciting. Hopefully my knee is better. 
because I wanted to go work out today, but my knee, I walked around and I walked um, this Panera where I have to go to get this Panera. The parking lot is a madhouse, so I had to park really, really far away. Plus, I had to go to the ABC store because I'm making one of our friend's birthday was yesterday. So we're going over to her house tonight to kind of celebrate. Uh, I think we're going to like a little Mexican restaurant. And then um, she like texted in the, we have like a little group message on Facebook with her, me and Brandon. And she was like, I wish I would have made heart shaped jello shots. And I was like, oh, I'm going to surprise her and not do heart shape, but I'm going to do jello shots. So I had to go to the ABC store and then I went um, to Panera and walking around because I was like, after I film this, I'll go to the gym. You know, I have plenty of time. My leg started hurting so bad. I've been icing it. Ugh, but it's it's worse than I expected. But it'll get better. Mm. I'm like trying to find more avocado in here. Oh, there's some. There's like little green bean. I guess it's like edamame. Mm. I think it said that this salad was like 550 calories so not too bad I'm trying to stay under a thousand a day and days that I can go less than a thousand are even better mmm There's so much avocado, like little pieces of avocado in here. Okay, I'm getting so full. Last bite. I wanna try one of these and just see how they compare though. I wonder if like having them, you know how sometimes if you have something like in the fridge, it kind of loses its like, specialness does that make any sense like I wonder if I'll still love these as much since like I have easier access to them all right let's see if they're as good Woo. yeah they're good mmm they're so juicy will be good to have around because I crave them sometimes like I'm just like somebody order Papa John so I can get some pepperoncinis Whew. all right I'm gonna get off here let me make sure there's no more avocado in here there's one the peppers in here are a little spicy oh there's a big piece of avocado Oh, this is a good bite to end on. Oh, it fell. Okay. All right, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. That was delicious. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was like a healthier mukbang. Not as many people like watching these. And, you know, it's fun. I've been too focused on the numbers and stuff and just seeing like, our numbers just kind of like fall. I'm like, am I doing something wrong? I don't know. So I'm like, quit looking at numbers. Like numbers literally don't matter. Do videos that you enjoy and you know, do things that you like. So that's kind of what I'm going to try to focus on now because I'm just tired of trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Um, like why our views are kind of you know they're just everywhere and I know that that happens and you know you hear every like youtuber talk about it and you're like y'all get over it like blah 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 but it, it does just happen things go in streaks and it's fine and that is my thing I'm like I'm not gonna care anymore like Bucky don't worry about it don't let it like don't sweat it cuz me personally I don't know why and maybe this is so obnoxious to even like say and maybe I shouldn't say it but I thought yesterday's video would do a lot better because I'm actually so many people have asked for like story times 
So I guess it's just like a weird thing that like some people like this, some people don't, and it's like you can't make everybody happy. Um, and you know sometimes views will suffer over some of the videos that you do and some of the content you put out. And that's just, that's life, that's YouTube. Um, it happens to everybody and I just, I told myself yesterday, I was like, you know, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. I was even going to skip a video today because I was, I was like upset and I was like, no. Like, I'm going to eat and I'm going to have a salad today and I'm going to have my favorite salad right now, which is the spicy Thai chicken salad from Panera. And I was like, I'm going to post it. Like, I want to hang out with y'all on Valentine's Day and post a video. I don't care. Five people can view it. But if this video makes five people happy, then isn't that worth it? That's what I've said since the beginning of time. Like, why did I stray away from that? You know, like, why did I stray away from that mind frame that's like, if these videos help one person, that's all that matters. Because ultimately, that's what it is. If these videos help one person, the job is done. Money aside, views aside, subscribers aside, job is done. Um, but anyways, went on a little rant. Sorry, y'all. I hope that y'all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Even if you don't have anyone... Hopefully you're watching this. You can hang out with me on Valentine's Day. Um, sorry I didn't send you flowers or candy. <laughs> uh, but I hope y'all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Even if it's by yourself. Go to a movie. Go just like binge watch your favorite TV show with a... Oh, oh my god, half a gallon of ice cream. That would be so good. <sighs> okay, stay strong, Bucky. Valentine's Day is so like... Our roommates, they were sent like a bunch of like candy and stuff like through their jobs and through their family and like seeing them eat it and like open it and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're all in the kitchen and all those candies and snacks that were sent to us, they're just sitting in the kitchen right now and like staring at me and they're like, eat me, eat me. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not going to. Um, but anyways, have a wonderful day no matter what you're doing. Have a great weekend and y'all remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, you know, I love seeing your comments. Uh, I'm getting, I'm a little slower, uh, at replying lately, but I will get better. Usually at night as I'm trying to go to bed, I'll try to catch up on all the replies and, um, reading all the comments, but I really, really, really do appreciate it. I love y'all. Have a wonderful weekend. I've said that for like the fifth time, so make it a dang good one. And we will see y'all again on Monday. Bye y'all. Oh, when life gets tough. Just keep on snacking. Bye, y'all.